we could use long division on these, right? But rather than dra making drawings on a sheet of paper, what we can notice is that the power of our divisor is 1. So while long division works perfectly fine, it's long. It takes a little bit longer. And especially once you get used to synthetic division, you'll probably prefer using synthetic division over long division. But just remember, we have to use long division when our divisor is raised to a power like second or third power, right? When it's power greater than 1. But here we can use long division. So when use, I'm sorry, synthetic division. When doing synthetic division, we need to set it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide by the zero. We're going to use the zero and then the coefficients. So we're going to use the zero of the divisor. We're going to use the zero of the divisor and the leading and the coefficients of our um, coefficients of our dividend. Now, again, just like long division, you have to make sure that you're in descending form. Now, we already know the answer to this, right, Brandon? We already know the answer. Um, we already know the answer of this zero is going to be x minus two, right? Yeah, you actually don't need that out. You can actually put that out and actually just write that back out. You can actually take out your earbuds too. You don't need that out. So. Um, what we're going to do is we'll take the coefficients. There's a 1 there. So we'll write 1, negative 3, positive 2. The 0 is going to be x minus 1 equals 0. So therefore, x equals 1. Does everybody see how I set this up? OK. Synthetic division basically goes like this. What you guys are going to do, hi, Missy, how are you? Where is it? Remember, I'll give you a thing. So what we're basically going to do is drop down the 1. So you drop down the first term, put in a 1. Multiply on the diagonals. So you bring down the 1, multiply the diagonals, which is 1 times 1 is 1. You put that over here. So you bring down the first term, multiply on the diagonals, you get 1. Add on the verticals. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Multiply on the diagonals. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Add the verticals. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. Now, how do we make sense of this? That's kind of the hard thing about synthetic division, I think, a lot of times, is how to make sense of this. Well, this represents our zero, our remainder. This represents the constant. And this represents the coefficient of your linear term. So my quotient would be x with a coefficient of 1 minus 2, and then no remainder. So I could say q of x equals x minus 2. OK? Yes? What I'm saying is you bring down the first term. You multiply on the diagonal. When you get the product, you put it to the next row over. And then you add vertically. Negative 3 plus 1, 2. And then you multiply the diagonal, go to the next row. OK? I'll give you guys 10 minutes. Why don't you try to work on these next two examples? Synthetic division. <laughs> 